If you're a corrupt condominium board member living in the state of Florida, get ready because your time is up. There's a bill currently going through the Senate that's called SB 1178, and if approved, it's going to drastically shake up the condominium market. One of the key components of this bill is that it introduces criminal penalties for any unethical board members that are doing kickbacks, record violations, and basically doing election fraud. The new bill is also going to mandate new education requirements for condominium association managers and it's also going to make it a requirement that all these records and these documents that the association creates has to be uploaded in an online portal so community members can view those documents at any given time. Now one of my favorite parts of this bill, it's going to prevent these condominium association board members from weaponizing the association funds against the residents within these communities. Previously, when these board members were being sued for any defamation cases, they would go and hire an attorney to defend them, but they will be using association funds to pay those attorneys. Isn't that crazy? So you're going after these corrupt board members and they're using your own money against you. Pretty nuts. And that's something that's going to end as soon as this bill makes its way through the Senate and it's finally approved. Now there's one major issue that's happening within the Department of Business and Professional Regulation or DBPR, which they are pretty much handcuffed when it comes to enforcing any laws or going after any of these individuals because Florida law basically states that, hey, those people that live with these condominium associations, it's your problem, go figure it out. Now it's going to transition and basically DBPR will be able to go after and enforce the laws and basically end all this crazy stuff that's going on within these communities. The bill is also going to include $7.4 million in allocation to an enforcement unit that's pretty much going to go after these corrupt board members. And in doing so, they're gonna hire 65 full-time employees within this new unit. Now, what do I think about this bill? Overall, I think this is a tremendous net positive for Florida as a whole. Currently, there's a lot of shady things that are happening within these associations. For the most part, every single one of them is decentralized. So they have their own operations. And as a realtor and a broker, when I go and take my clients to these different associations, some of them are amazing. They give me information within seconds of me sending an email. Some of them will take me weeks, even days for them to even approve or send any documentation back to me and my clients. And this is something that needs to be standardized and handled. How is it that one association is running amazing and the other one isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing? Another big issue is reserves. A lot of these association managers are terrible when it comes to financial management and they have basically no reserves in these condominiums. And this is terrible because if I'm an owner and I live within a condominium, it's going to be very hard for me to sell my asset because guess what? If there's no reserves in the budget, when a bank goes and finances a potential buyer, they're going to say, hey, you have to put 20, 30 percent down to even buy within this association. And most new buyers, if they don't have the money, they're going to say, hey, I'm going to leave. So your purchasing pool shrinks tremendously. And if any issues, for example, an increase in supply comes online, it's gonna take very hard for you to sell that asset. I mean, real estate is already an illiquid asset, so it takes time for you to sell it. So having these limitations and barriers, it's gonna be very, very difficult. But with this new law and the standardization, it's definitely gonna help out. Now, I think for the short term, we're going to see issues within the condo market. It's already happening as we speak. Inventory, at least in Miami-Dade County, is spiking and across Florida as well. So the bill is going to be great, but I feel that the positive effects of this bill is going to happen later within the next three to five years after all these association boards are basically lock in step with the state of Florida. So it's going to help with transparency and it's going to be great because banks are going to know that the investment that they're putting their money into is well managed at the end of the day. So this is going to be important. There's going to be a lot more special assessments to come, but once the dust settles, everything's going to be fine. I mean, take a look at the insurance market here in South Florida. It's terrible, premiums are shooting up, but once these communities are in standards with the state of Florida, with insurance policies, and with um, the banks, we're gonna see, in my opinion, we're potentially gonna see a decrease in prices, but then in the next three to five years, we're gonna see an increase in prices because there's gonna be more standardization within this asset class. Those are my thoughts, my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this type of content, Give me a follow and what are you waiting for? Have a good one.